My name is Megan. I'm with the Nature Conservancy in the Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program. I'm here today on a Lake George Land Conservancy Preserve. And the Lake George Land Conservancy and the Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program have a partnership. And together we've helped deal with a lot of different invasive species. Today we're going to talk about the gypsy moth caterpillars, which were a big problem in the summer of 2021. Uh, these caterpillars are non-native to the area and they don't have any natural predators. And every 20 or so years, they um, have big outbreaks and can cause a lot of defoliation in our forests. So today uh, we're going to talk about some of the ways that you can help. video to show you how to scrape the egg masses of gypsy moths. So gypsy moths lay their eggs in late summer, so the best time to go out and scrape is late summer through the fall. And all you're going to need is a container for the eggs, some kind of scraper. I have a plastic scraper here. You can really use anything as long as the edge isn't too sharp because you don't want to damage the bark of the tree. And then you're going to want some kind of protection for your hands um, just to protect your skin uh, from the egg masses. So all you're really going to do is place the container underneath the egg masses and you can identify them easily. They're this tan color and they're kind of fuzzy. They tend to be about the size of a quarter. And then you're just gonna go ahead and scrape the eggs into your container and be sure to get all of the eggs out. And each of these masses can contain up to a thousand eggs. So it's really important to try and get all the eggs that you can. So try and get all the eggs into the container. If any of them fall onto the ground, it's important to go ahead and pick those up as well because they'll survive through the winter and then hatch in the spring. And try and get into those bridges as best as you can. And once you have the eggs in your container, you can go ahead and pour them into some soapy water. And then you can just let that mixture sit for up to 48 hours um, for the eggs to die. And then you can go ahead and dispose of them.